Hari Om friends and good afternoon to all of you and today I am going to do the chart analysis on the request of the mother of 10 year old Alina. She is born on 2nd January 2013 in Kotayam, Kerala at 12.29 in the afternoon and her mother has specifically told me that she is very much interested in giving the details of her daughter for doing the public chart analysis on YouTube. I have it written. Please consider my request. Yes, I will. On the, on the request of the parents, I will. But on YouTube, uh, in the written space, her name has been blacked out. Uh, she says she is only 10 years, but you didn't mention age limits, so I am sending you her details. I will be thankful if you can explain the strength of the Gaj Kesari Yoga in her chart. So Madam, first of all, let me clear all your doubts. There are around, as I speak, 450 yogas and doshas in astrology and most of them are theoretical concepts. They do not mean or they do not bear out in terms of predictions on the ground. In fact, what they do is they lead to an astrologer taking a sectional or a chart wise or a house wise view of the chart, ignoring at the cost of the other planets. So I do not believe in this yoga. If any of you believe in Gaj Kesari Yoga, you can please uh, do a search on Google. There will be tons of information there. I believe that only two yogas or doshas have impact on a person on planet Earth. That is Mangal Dosh while marrying somebody and Kal Sarat Dosh. These are the two doshas that can adversely impact your life. Rest each and every individual planet has to be read on its merit. Now Alina has a basically good chart. Uh, she is ascendant Pisces. She is a very uh, artistic, emotional person, a nice human being. She'll, she'll grow up into being a very nice, pretty looking human being. And uh, she has Ketu in her second house at an advanced angle of 29 degrees that has a slip out into the third house so basically uh, the third house also has Jupiter enemy position now it is highly possible that she could be the only child of the parents it is highly possible or she could have been born with great difficulty or like c-section or some you know some treatments would need have would have to be taken for her delivery and she would not have any other sibling pardon me please uh, now after her Jupiter, her 6th house moon is troubling, she is very emotional, she will become more and more emotional as she grows up and she will be emotionally very raw, not able to uh, adapt to stress and she will think a lot. Additionally being ascendant Pisces, this is never a good thing. This leads to depression and other psychological illnesses. So the parents should not put pressure on her like they are doing right now. They should not get her chat analyzed in public. They should let her be. She has other planets via which she would do very well in her life. But they should let her do what she wants to do. This is very, very critical. They should not force their ambitions on dear Alina. Her Rahu in the 8th house is troubling. Again, I'm warning them, the parents. Alina is too young. She will suffer from some health related issues if not already. She may be having some birth related health problems which we'll talk about as we proceed. Now she has mild Kal Sardosh. That means she will basically if the parents put too much pressure on her then she basically uh, you know there may be the relations with the parents could be spoiled because this girl is going to do very well in her career in her life but the but if she is pushed when she grows up she may have a strange relations with her family due to her mild cancer dosh her saturn is exalted in the eighth house it's 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 a mixed bag there that means she will do very well in her profession she she could be an artist she could be an architect she could be a famed architect, but she will suffer from stress. 
she will not be able to manage the stress that the profession brings she will be ultra sensitive now the best part is her ninth house has venus and its mahadasha has just started so alina is very very lucky in fact it started in 2013 i'm sorry so she uh, uh, basically ever since she is born she has been going through her auspicious venus mahadasha from 2013 till 2033 she will do very well in her life she will turn out to be a beautiful woman she would have romantic liaisons she would be popular with the opposite sex she could even be in films and the film line theater she could do all that and this i say because her 10th house is superb sun and mercury sitting there and that means that she is courageous and she is very sophisticated when she grows up she will be polished and be very wealthy she will earn a lot of wealth herself and she will not only be able to support herself but her whole family this is a very good chart but there is trouble in it the trouble is that if she is forced or pressurized to do something then the chances of her getting emotionally hurt are very high and this could be from a boyfriend husband lover mother father everybody father is close to her though. father has a healthy relation with her mother the relation is very close they are each other's weakness and that's never a healthy relationship and her 11th house has mars exalted so that is a blessing she will have super focus she would do very well in her life have name fame and this is the chart that she could be a famous malayali actress you know these days south indian movies are doing so well they be, they are even beating the so called bollywood or the hindi movie industry which are copying the the the, the, the south indian movies and malayalam movies are doing very well she could be a malayalam actress of repute now coming to her time right now right now her time till april 23 is tough because of venus rahu so she would be under stress she would not be meeting her parents expectation so i would just request the parents to get her chart shown to an astrologer or they can consult me for the remedies for her rahu slash mild cancer dosh because that only multiplies the effect and not put pressure on her she is very sensitive she will react to that adversely and after that her venus jupiter period also till december 25 is again she will not be too much interested in academics per se like if, if the parents want 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 her to become like a doctor or an engineer or you know somebody who specializes in science and maths no this this is not what she'll do she will become somebody who expresses herself so please let her do what she wants she needs to do the remedies for her jupiter saturn and rahu at the bare minimum for her moon she can her mother can start her into a yoga meditation class right now that will give her a lot of peace of mind and uh, basically till 2033 the time for her is excellent they do not need to worry about her she will develop into a fine lady so that is it and please like share and subscribe the video and be the grower be uh, sorry be the helpers of its growth on youtube not a lot of people are subscribing i send out emails to around 5000 people but there are only 94 subscribers it is not good the views are very pathetic but being a follower of gurudev i believe that i have to do my karma the result is in the hand of god so i will keep on doing my karma i will keep on helping you on youtube and make other interesting videos if you like it please spread the word thank you hari mom and god bless you all